Hi, this is Dr. Jenny and we're working in Unit 2 and essentially we're working textbook problems that are similar to those that you will find in the My Finance Lab. Uh, we're going to work today in Chapter 10 and we are working in um, Problem 10 in Chapter 10. Now when you read this, I know uh, some of you may say I don't like story problems and that when you see a big paragraph that's sort of what it feels like. But essentially what's happening in this is that a company is considering what will happen if they cut their dividends uh, from $8 per share to $5 per share. Uh, they want to see what that what will uh, affect their stock price because they actually have other uh, ways they'd like to spend their money. So essentially what you do when this problem, um, they don't give you a lot of guidance in this, so I'm going to try to take you through this a step at a time so you can kind of see. Uh, we're using our regular formula that we used previously in the 10-3, uh, and so we're trying to find out the re required return of 13.4 percent. That's what they re require right now based on an eight dollar dividend uh, five percent growth and a hundred dollar share price then that tells us what our investors re require in a dividend and so now now that we know that if we drop it to five and so you can look at the formula I have up here uh, you can see that up there in the top if we um, take our uh, you know our dividend down to five dollars and we have, and then we notice that, that we're going to have an 8% expected growth rate. We take the required re return that they expect right now minus the 8% growth rate. And we see what we um, end up seeing then is that the $100, the uh, share price doesn't change, which is kind of interesting. I mean, that tells us something about our uh, investors on there. So uh, that just knowing that is is good information and then uh, it, basically what we can do is we can kind of build a chart uh, that will show us our uh, both our share price and our what the growth would would be expected to uh, follow along and we do that using another formula in our textbook um, and essentially what we're doing here is that because we know the information for both an $8 dividend and for a $5 dividend, we can do some substitution in algebra so that we can come up with our uh, earnings per share at $13. Uh, and we, we know the, um, you know, the ROE with that as well. So uh, the ROE in this case is less than the investor's required return, which not much, but it is, and so that is uh, essentially a kind of an eye-opening uh, thing for someone that would be in, in charge of this. And this may not be anything that you do at your company, uh, but it, it basically does help you understand um, the 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 types of decisions behind uh, dividends. So what I've done here is I've actually created this little chart here that it you know what would happen with our dividends if we had a dollar dividend if we had a three dollar dividend if we had a six dollar dividend and so on and I've highlighted the five dollar dividend and the eight dollar dividend so that you can see that our price is the same so this is basically using the formula we've always had I just refer to the column number so you can kinda see how I picked it up uh, and also what our, our growth rate would be expected in each of these. So I think that what it does is it helps you um, kind of give some information to someone uh, in your company about the impact that dividends will have on the share price. Um, if you recall, if we go back to 10.3, we talked about why companies care, you know, care at all about stock price. So when, they, when they're changing dividends, they always know it will usually have an impact on their stock price. Now it didn't in this because we actually calculated here was at the $8 dividend, this was at the uh, $5 dividend. And so we actually calculated it to see that it, we end up having a 
um, share price of a hundred dollars because this even with this one see the hundred dollars that I'm pointing to in this equation here um, you know that is the stock price so it does not change when we do that uh, which is pretty interesting I would probably want to know a little more about why that's happening uh, but this does give you an idea of uh, the kinds of information you can build from this uh, just by looking at okay if I if we say we're going to have a dividend of six dollars what do we expect to happen to our share price over here um, and as you can see um, you know we get down to the point where um, you know there there you don't get any any bang for your buck so to speak so um, essentially this will kind of give you an idea how you would build something like that uh, to look at measuring growth and the impact that it's going to have on our both our dividends and our share price. So hopefully this helped and I look forward to talking to you in the next unit.